So functional mushrooms themselves are scientifically studied and proven to help with things like your cognition, and in terms of overall health, it can dramatically improve that too. Um, hi everyone, I'm Roxy, the CEO and founder of Superroom. So in 2020, I burnt out and functional mushrooms gave me my health back. Superroom is really trying to lead the charge in the proactive medicine space. So when you look at the NHS or other healthcare systems, they're completely overwhelmed with reactive medicine. So the proactive side of health, i.e. what do you do to actually prevent illness, is left to the individual. So functional mushrooms themselves are scientifically studied and proven to help with things like your cognition and in terms of overall health, it can dramatically improve that too. The problem is that 92% of the world's mushrooms come from China, where there's very little regulation and there's hardly any transparency. But we are different. We're partnered with a Finnish biotech firm in order to bring this to market. That means we have full traceability, full transparency and potency at a level that really matters. So when you take all this into account and you look at the market, which is absolutely exploding, we want to be at the forefront of taking this to the UK. We've been offered exclusivity to bring these ingredients to the UK and we need your help to bring this to market. Are we talking also all mushroom types or is it? It's functional mushrooms specifically, so if you think of it as magic mushrooms, but without psychedelic <laughs> magic side, but that has all the medicinal benefits, um, but it doesn't contain the psychoactive compound. And they're coming from? They're coming from Finland. Um, we're specifically partnered with this biotech um, company purely to bring the potency and transparency that you need. Because a lot of the companies come at the moment from China that are importing them, there was a study done that showed like the top, top 20 selling companies on Amazon, but they didn't even contain the right DNA of the mushroom species, let alone the compounds that are in there. And when you look across the market, you have companies always reporting on things like beta glucans, but the news flash here is that beta glucans consist across all different mushrooms. What's interesting about them is if you take lion's mane, it has something called hericinones, and it's that compound that helps with your focus, helps with your memory, and it's been shown in trials to even induce like new, new nerve connections in the brain. So ultimately what we're trying to do is put science behind everything that we're doing to deliver a superior product yeah. and deliver that. You, you mentioned on there about having the exclusive rights for the UK market. Can you talk more about who owns the overall rights and what that means moving forward? How long do you have the exclusive rights for, etc.? Yeah. So essentially the biotech company will retain the IP in terms of the actual product that goes behind it. The exclusivity deal runs with us for a year, so we have certain sales KPIs that we need to hit, but we have exclusivity over the ingredients to bring it to the UK market, which means that we can actually deliver a better product. Now to talk about why this actually makes a difference. So Lion's Mane, for example, has gone through clinical trials already and it showed it to be superior to caffeine, especially over a longer period of time, so that your cognition doesn't erode, you don't have the anxiety, you don't have the crashes. Um, and then we're having three further trials this year that are coming out for Chaga, Reishi and uh, Cordyceps. So the idea really is that they will deal with the manufacturing side, but we will take on the marketing branded under our own company. We'll be the only company that will be able to do it in the UK. What support do you receive from JP or these two companies? Yes. Of course, economic support, but it's like a loan or... Yeah. So we were invited onto the Innovate UK high growth startup program, which was specifically designed for companies in this narrow window of opportunity. Um, and JP Morgan are supporting us with mentoring and Neobol also with funding. So we partnered with all of them to help us scale. So the next step really is getting uh, funding so that we can actually bring it to market. Supply chain and full sort of end to end is completely priced and ready to go. It's quite simply a case of get the funding and bring this to market. It exists out there. You can get maximum 50% bioavailability, which means your body can only really absorb about half of it. These are liquid tinctures. So you do two pipettes into any food, any drink, which also renders it tasteless, but it's 92% bioavailable. So you're getting a super potent, really strong product that actually does what it says on the tin. Thanks. And just quickly follow up on that shelf life, please. Uh, so it's shelf life 18 months for this. Do you have planned distribution channels in the UK to bring it to market? So we've got a combination of things. So there's the social side through influencers and Instagram, etc. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and then but on top of that, we have a slightly different route to market. So the person that's actually doing our illustrations is a um, studio called Adam Ellis, and they do all the design work for the Ivy and Annabelle's in that collection. So we have another route to market to go into hospitality where you can use our mushrooms to create specific cocktails, specific drinks. 
So it sits more on the luxury end of the market, but it's a different route rather than trying to just go the social route. And obviously there is an element of community building. We need to educate people on, you know, what, how do you tell a good product from another? So, you know, you look at the dirty years of the world and you instantly know that, okay, this has 2,000 milligrams of mushrooms, but that actually doesn't mean anything. It could be 2,000 milligrams of dust. What you need is something to tell you how, what the level of compound is in there. So our measurement for success is completely different. We don't use, you know, 2,000 milligrams of this because that doesn't tell you anything. You need a high concentration of the compound for it to do, you know, what it says it will. So it's the specific compounds that make these mushrooms really interesting.